honorary member of the Moles? Listen up. Thank you for helping Hook find the detector. But now, Hook needs to ask you another favor. <laughs> I haven't even mentioned what this is about, but that's the spirit. You truly are an honorary member of the Moles. Hook and Daddy's birthday is approaching. Every year at this time, we exchange gifts and celebrate our birthday together. Yeah? What's the problem? Daddy's job has been more difficult since moving to Boulder Town. He gets home really late every day. I don't want to use his hard-earned money to buy a gift. <laughs> hey, are you patronizing me? Actually, I still have some valuable treasure of my own in Rivet Town. <laughs> it's a shame I left it there. If I go bring it back and sell it for a decent price, I can buy a gift for Daddy without begging anyone for money. I know that Rivet Town is super dangerous right now. That's why I'd like to enlist you as my bodyguard. That way, even if the old witch finds out later, I won't be the only one getting a scolding. <laughs> then it's settling! Let's meet in Rivet Town. I'll be waiting for you in a safe spot. You're not allowed to not come. Took you so long. Hook's been waiting here for ages. Well, it wasn't actually that long. As long as you're here now, it's fine. I got some good news and some bad news. Which do you want to hear first? I told the rest of the moles about the plan, and Julian asked me to get some treasure for him. If we don't help him, he'll tell the old witch where we've gone. The good news is that he's willing to contribute to our adventure. Look, he gave me this gardening shovel. Well, Julian has been a huge help to me. Consider this returning the favor. Well, the treasure won't grow legs and find us, will it? Come on, let's go. Julian's adoptive parents used to own a business in this area. When we were all forced to leave the town, there were lots of things they didn't have time to take with them, so... Should... Ah, we found Julian's treasure! <laughs> no, not the key! These glass marbles! Oh, look at all the different colors. Bet it wasn't easy collecting all these. What? <laughs> you don't know! <gasps> have you never played marbles before? By the way, what is this key open? Oh, maybe Julian knows. What's that look on your face? Oh, I get it. You don't think this jar of glass marbles is worth anything, right? Let me tell you something. This jar of marbles means a lot to the moles. Julian used it to help the moles overcome a super huge crisis for which he was promoted to second in command. Of course it wasn't that, but his accomplishments are nothing to be scoffed at. In the past, the kids in town were arch-rivals to us at the orphanage. Those kids used to bully us, relying on the pocket money that their parents gave them. One time, they sent us a formal declaration of war, challenging the moles to a marbles competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. We at the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road, which are no match for those rich kids' marbles. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge, 
and triumphantly returned with a pile of colorful glass marbles he won. Oh, it was incredible. Yep. So, now you know why he wanted us to find this treasure. All right, enough chit-chat. Next, we need to find my treasure. Time to get to work. Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. This doesn't feel like the rivet town I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now, too? This place is nothing like it was before I left. Boxes and mine carts are all over the street. What a mess. Oh, did someone move my treasure, too? I used to keep it in the mining team's junk pile. Behind the corner, there were heaps of geomero and boxes. Uh, hopefully it hasn't been taken. Well, that's all I can recall. But don't worry, I'll look with you. <laughs> I may even find it before you. It's in this box. This miniature drill rig was given to me by a guy from Daddy's mining team as a birthday present. <laughs> I'm going to turn it on. Whoosh! Uh. Uh. Oh, just, just don't talk to me right now. I need to calm down. They said don't talk to me right now. I need time to think. Honorary member, um, I wonder, how much do you think Julian's glass marbles would sell for? <laughs> what? Did you think I was serious? I wasn't actually planning on selling these marbles. <laughs> Besides, they aren't even worth much. That might work. But it'll be pretty expensive to fix, right? Not possible. Daddy said that guy went missing one day and he never saw him again. Maybe he went someplace far away. Hm. I have no idea when he'll come back, so that definitely won't work. Oh, wait a second! I hid another treasure at the orphanage! I don't want to sell it, but if I want to buy Daddy a gift, I don't have any other choice. Honorary member, please! Please help me look for it, just one more time. Ah, yay, let's go! to deal with them first. Liquidation! Let's make it. Pretty cool. Let's rock. Tough luck. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Time for the mi- Turn it up! <laughs> Wait! Let me take a look at my notes. I marked the location where I stashed the treasure. It's a reward from the old witch. <laughs> You'll know what it is after I dig it up. Go down the stairs on the left, then walk 10 paces forward. Turn right, walk another 15 paces, spin around 10 times, then keep walking forward. Hmm. Oh no! I'm doomed! The second half of my notes are completely ruined! 
Oh, what kind of lame treasure map would it be if it only had one or two steps? Without the second half of my notes, how will I ever find the treasure? Aww. Really? Quick, let me see! <sighs> Let's use the home use object finder to help hook search. Object finder at your service. Please say the target object you want to search for. Oh, wow. <laughs> this little thing, it, it can talk? Wow, you can talk as well, little thing. Huh, aren't you sassy? But if you can help me find my treasure, I'll let it slide. this? Oh, looks like something is written on it. For Julian, 50 years in the future. Whatever. Since we've already dug it up, let's open it. I guess you're right. We should wait 50 years before opening it. Let's take it back to Julian along with the glass marbles. Here it is! My teddy bear! The old witch gave it to me as a gift. Yes! He's called Junjun. Whoa, Junjun. How did you get covered in dirt? And why do you have so many loose threads? If we don't get you cleaned up, no one will buy you. The old witch said that Junjun isn't just any old teddy bear. He'll be worth a lot of money once he's cleaned up. <sighs> There's no other way. I haven't learned to sew yet. I'll have to ask the old witch for help. If she finds out I went somewhere I shouldn't have gone. Mm, Hook will get lectured all over again. What? So what if the old witch yells at me? Hook still has to prepare the gift for daddy. We found the treasure. Let's split. The monsters here give Hook goosebumps. Ooh, too scary. I'm warning you. Don't you dare tell the old witch about Hook's plan to sell the treasure. It's getting late. Where to now? Hook? What are you... <clears throat> Natasha? Um, Junjun's in bad shape. Can you help me fix him? I remember giving you Junjun. <laughs> I haven't seen this fella in years. Where did you find him? The... The wind brought him back to me. Be honest with me, Hook. <sighs> Big Brother helped me find him in the Rivet Town Orphanage. Oh. You had him take you to the Fragmentum just for this teddy bear? Hook, how many times have I told you? Natasha, please. Please help me fix Junjun. I'll clean the clinic for you for a whole month. <sighs> you say that every time, and then... <laughs> Great! See you soon! Uh, Big Brother, I'll leave Junjun with you. What am I going to do with that girl? You shouldn't indulge her, outsider. Uh-uh, I know it's difficult to tell Hook no, but sometimes it just has to be done. <sighs> June, June. So she gave her bear a name, huh? I've lost count of all the dolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was an award I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. <sighs> Can you imagine what an orphanage is like with so many difficult children? I, mean, I had to come up with a solution to get them to behave. 
Hook pretended to be well-behaved for a month in order to get Jun Jun. She ate on time, slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. Of course, as soon as she got her award, she went straight back to her old self. <laughs> Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a skill, all right, and forcing her to be well-behaved puts a lid on it. Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help Hook repair Jun Jun, but I'll need to find some stuffing. Wait, look at the eyes. They must be... Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I sewed them on. I'm no appraiser, but these two gems look to be high quality. Well, our war-torn bear here just became a priceless doll. Not bad, Jun Jun. Did the old witch yell at you? What? Why'd she only yell at Hawk? <sighs> Never mind that. You didn't tell her what I was really up to, did you? Great. Your loyalty as an honorary member of the Moles is acknowledged. Anyway, why are you still standing here, silly? Do you have something to report to the boss of the moles? G gems <gasps> Does that mean he's worth a lot of money? Well, of course I'll sell him. If the gems are expensive, who can buy a better birthday gift for daddy? Anyhow, this is super useful intel. If you've been with the moles a bit longer, I'd be promoting you to third in command right now. I'll need your help again after Natasha fixes Jun Jun. Always be prepared to answer the call of Pitch Dark Hook the Great. <laughs> <laughs>